the Zelda movie, which we've heard in recent times that they're going to be working on one. Miyamoto came out not too long ago saying that they are going to be producing one and it's going to be live action. And we basically have heard next to nothing else. No release date window, no actor, nothing else. And I really hadn't given my thoughts about it. And some interesting stuff came up just this past weekend at CES 2024 during the press conference with Sony. And somebody in my chat the other day asked me my thoughts on it. So the fact that Sony Pictures is teaming up with Nintendo to make a Nintendo movie is wild in itself because technically PlayStation, you know, Sony owns PlayStation. It's a competitor, but Sony Pictures is a subsidiary of the whole, I guess, umbrella branch, and they make a lot of movies and things like that. And honestly, it was initially unexpected that they're going with Sony, considering that they have a lot of like their presence at the Universal Studios parks, and I think Universal even. Uh, owns like DreamWorks which did the Super Mario Brothers movie but um, yeah during their panel I guess they had like a press conference or something where they were talking about all their upcoming Sony Pictures projects like Sony themselves because Miyamoto already made the brief announcement but there was next to nothing um, Sony themselves confirmed that they would be making this movie so they went down their projects talked to everything and then they were like oh yeah and we're also working on a live action Legend of Zelda movie. So that basically confirmed it. Other than, you know, an official trailer or something like that, it confirmed it. And it was like, yeah, okay, that's huge because it's hard to explain. It's, it goes back to that, I guess, console wars mentality, but it's also huge because it's like they acknowledged it, they talked about it, they brought it up. And the fact that they brought it up definitely excites me. Because when you're at a press conference, you bring up a couple of stuff. You're bringing out your heavy hitters, right? Like, you don't mention every movie you're working on. Because a lot of them are going to be, like, your crappy comedies or your throwaway, like, horror movies and stuff like that. But if you're mentioning, like, as one of your, like, huge movies that you're making, that kind of, you know, exciting. Because that tells me that Sony Pictures is going to work hard on the Legend of Zelda movie and make sure that it works out and that it's amazing and we all know Miyamoto involved he's going to be swinging his fucking dick around and trying to make sure that they don't screw it up so uh, I think CEO of Sony and pardon me if I pronounce this Japanese wrong um, Kenichiro Yoshida basically was excited himself when the Sony CEO is not able to contain their excitement and they're promising viewers this was the quote this is all he said an amazing tale of adventure and discovery. So, of course, that's what we hope out of a Zelda game, right? Who played Zelda back in the day? Me. When I was in my outside, like, like out, outside, out of the house touching grass as a kid, and I was in the playground, I would pretend Zelda sometimes. I would, I would imagine and play like Zelda with my friends. You know, I'd be like, oh, I'm uh, your Link, and I'm this guy, and she's Princess Zelda, and we'd have, like, fun on the playground and stuff. So... I guess the core concept of Zelda was like Miyamoto back when he used to like explore as a kid and go to like the lake and walk through the woods and the forest. Like I used to go through the woods as a kid. I used to explore the woods. It's a wonder I didn't end up in the Blair Witch House. But the fact that they're focusing on that and not some kind of like bullshit, you know, social justice stuff is exciting. But then again, it's also the Japanese CEO and Japan doesn't really fuck around with stupid nonsense that we see nowadays. So... Definitely curious to see what they're going to do and how long this movie length is going to be because uh, Zelda is my favorite video game franchise. It's it's one of my top games out there. Uh, it'll be interesting to see as far as the story goes where they're going to do. Are they going to adapt one of the games? Is it going to be an original story? Are we going to see something true to the source material? Is it going to basically just be the origin story of, you know, the three goddesses and stuff, or, or are we going to see like Ocarina of Time? Uh, are we going to have references to anything big? Like, there's so much lore that they could do with this game. Uh, you know, hopefully, if they pick up on anything from the games or they make like an original story out of it, they don't try to do anything too kooky. I know there's already a timeline thing in, you know, the Zelda games itself, but I hope they don't, I don't know, I guess multiverse or time travel 
could work because the you know the ocarina itself does um but i'm wondering if there there'll be like setups for some kind of in-game universe or something involving that and i've already heard the rumors that they are setting up a smash brothers universe like with nintendo i think a while back there was like a rumor where like the mario movie the sonic the pikachu and all that is ideally leading towards a smash brothers universe but who knows <laughs> who knows honestly how true that is but i think sony taking the reins of a nintendo themed project is definitely a unique collaboration that's adding like this whole um huge amount of curiosity on top of it like i want to see what they really do with this project i i want it to be like willow like willow was one of my most favorite movies of all time growing up willow was the shit and, and i used to like like legend and conan the barbarian and, and things like that so if they could make a legend of zelda that's like close to like what willow was and and be like the new movie the new willow of this generation i think that would be fucking sweet to be completely honest and and it's a video game adaptation though so that's where things start to get a little shaky because even uncharted the movie that was an okay movie but i don't think uncharted the movie was like too groundbreaking i don't think it was anything that was like oh my god that was so great it honestly felt like just a generic video game i don't even know which company did that was that sony pictures that did uncharted it might have been because it is a playstation studio game but uh i felt it was like a generic action movie and i don't want legend of zelda the movie to be like a generic game and i'm sure nintendo i mean a, a movie and i'm sure nintendo doesn't want that either so basically confirming that they're making a hype as fuck movie and I mean, it's it's definitely in the works, so that's awesome. Uh, I don't know if there was anybody doubting the studio that would be behind it, or or what Nintendo had in mind. Because yeah, they did talk about it, but the the level of excitement that the C Sony CEO themselves is having, and them coming out and including it in a press conference at CES 2024, I think is a very positive, very good fucking sign. And the fact that it's a crossover between gaming and cinema on top of it with one of the most popular gaming franchises out there. Uh, this has potential to be a fucking grand slam. But it also has potential to be a fucking fumble. And I'm terrified if it's a fumble. So yeah, we don't know many key details, honestly. Um, we don't have a title. We don't have a release date. Who knows how long in the future this is going to be out. Uh, we don't even have an actor. That's the thing. I guess the thing that worries me the most outside of everything is casting. Is casting. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you guys were aware, but Ocarina of Time Link actually was inspired by Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, his look, Ocarina of Time, Adult Link's look was actually inspired by Leonardo DiCaprio. Well, obviously, even though Leo is still very young looking for his age he's too old to be link now <laughs> he's way too fucking old to be link now uh, i'm sure if they made a zelda movie in the 90s when leo was at his prime they would have had him do it but now it's like who are they gonna have play link who are they gonna have play zelda who are they gonna have play ganon i swear to god if jack black or kevin hart weasel their way into another fucking movie <laughs> i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna fucking throw a fit now i like i like i like jack black but He's fucking Bowser. Don't don't put him in Legend of Zelda. Don't make him Ganondorf. But Link, uh, a lot of people are joking. Oh, it's gonna be um, fucking Tom Holland, the the Spider Man guy. Please don't. I I don't think he could pull off a Link. Uh, yeah, he's a a nice little skinny white twink looking motherfucker. But I don't I don't want them to make him Link. To be completely honest. Um, now. Apparently, Miyamoto's been collaborating with producer, I think their name, I have the, their notes here, Avi Arad, on the concept for the last decade. So, Miyamoto's been working on this for the last decade. Uh, hopefully, he has some good notes and things like that. Maybe even a story. Maybe he's going to show his screenplay that he wrote, and hopefully the studio... I hope the studio decides, hey, let's go with what he has, but knowing Hollywood and knowing producers and stuff... You know they're gonna want what they want first, and you know they'll look, they'll pull a George Lucas and 
with Miyamoto and be like, oh, that's cool, but we're not going with your with your original vision of, of what you created for your life, <laughs> you know, with, with the sequel trilogy. So um, apparently direct, director Wes Ball, who's known for the Maze Runner and Planet the Apes, is set to be the director for this. Um, that's interesting, to be honest. Uh, not particularly the my favorite movies, although I think the Planet of the Apes movies that have been coming out the last couple decade or so are pretty interesting as far as visuals and stuff go. Uh, but, yeah, at least they're not getting some kind of silly director that is from, like, Saturday Night Live and has made, like, weird comedies and shit. And at least, it, you know, it's not somebody that's going to put, like, politics into the crap or anything like that. So hopefully... Uh, Hopefully the anticipation and the wait for it isn't as bad. So, uh, and on top of that, this ain't the only video game adaptation that Sony Pictures is going to be working on. They got a God of War movie coming out, supposedly, which there's a lot of potential with that. And I'm just as equally concerned about the casting for Kratos, <laughs> you know, and, and boy, like I'm, I'm really, I'm really, um, interested in and in how they're going to be doing that i think uh that one has a lot of potential and then supposedly i think horizon forbidden west or horizon series is going to get one as well so definitely interested to see what that goes and of course we also have the fallout series coming out on amazon i think that's going to be actually i i saw like a trailer or the whatever the preview was that looks fucking great don't let me down. I, I didn't mind Last of Us. Of course, you know, there was that one episode that was a little little too much for me. But Last of Us on HBO was still pretty good. So I think um, the last few video game adaptations that have come out have been pretty solid. So we'll see what happens. Again, this is a pretty interesting collaboration between Sony and Nintendo. Um, and they are making some ambitious promises here with an amazing tale of exploration and discovery and all that so i don't know i don't know what do you guys think about this are you guys pretty stoked for it <laughs> let me know your thoughts